We are back in the Publix oh, kitchen yeah. with Chef Tony from Publix. Always yeah. great to have him here. And you are teaching us how to brine, brine our turkey. Yes. All right. What's the secret? The secret? I've never done this before. I well, just want you to know. This well, is my up, husband's job. Well, brining <laughs> is a combination of, of, of salt and sugar. Okay. And then spices that go on top of it. So... Um, you choose things that you like in terms of, of like flavors, flavors, dominant flavors. Yeah. Like, let's, so let's make one real quick, right? Okay. This is some salt, right there. That's a lot of salt. Well, it takes a lot of salt. It's, <laughs> okay. it's I mean, it's a brine. You think about pickles. Yeah. I mean, that's a right, really, really flavor forward brine. So what do you figure? Like a half a cup was that? I don't know. I got a recipe somewhere yeah. over here that says what what goes in it. So right. it's, some, it's in a bowl. This is what I'm. It's <laughs> one go. bowl a of bowl salt. Kind of like that. All so, right. Right. We have uh, we have some ginger. So for this one, we're going to put some ginger in that sliced up. Create surface area with your ginger. That way, you get more of the flavor out of it. We also have, um, let's see, that looks like a little bit of chili powder. We have some coriander seeds. We have some black peppercorns, some allspice. Is this sugar? We have brown, brown sugar, sugar and regular sugar in there, too. So we're going to put all that in there. How would you describe the kind of flavor this is going to give? Um, this is a little bit more of a, uh, a, a Middle Eastern kind of flavor. Okay. Um, for what's going on, a light uh, ginger is so refreshing. It is. That you I love ginger. Sure you have, and it's a good di digestive aid, yeah. too. So yeah. good point. Just that little bit of help, you know, kind of helps you get so through the day. So that we can eat the pies and everything else. Of course, <laughs> right? you got to be able to get it down. So you're going to put it all in. You can toast this stuff as well and then put the water in on top. But you bring it to a boil, and then you have to let it cool. Right, again, we don't want to pour hot liquid over the turkey. Because it'll start cooking it. it'll start cooking So you want to let it cool. Typically, so this will call for eight cups of water. You could do four cups of water with this and then add the equivalent to ice. Remember, a pint's okay. a pound the world round okay. for, for water. So a pound of ice is a pint. So you do that math and equal. And that'll cool it down quicker. But when it's cool is when you pour it over the bird. You take the bird out and you, you make sure it's in a container that, that it can hold the cold. Right, so some sort of insulator, and you pour it in, and you lit it. And if you need to, you can come by and add ice to make sure the liquid stays cold. That's important for the temperature, right, because it can't get above 40 degrees. Okay. So, and right. what happens is you have all this flavor liquid. The turkey has liquid in it already, its own liquid, but that doesn't have a lot of flavor. So what happens is we start this process where the flavorful liquid starts to come into the bird, and as the, the, the bird's own liquid will start to go out into the brine, until we reach an equilibrium. So you're, so you, we could do this in a cooler. Oh, that's a great okay, bus tub right, with a trash a bag. Okay, there's there's right, brine bags okay. out there now too. And how long should you put, should you brine it for? Then? Depends I mean, upon the size or? of the turkey. Okay. You know, if you're doing a pork tenderloin, you know, you need an hour. You're doing shrimp, you need 30 minutes. Okay. If you're doing a larger turkey, 10 pounds, I give it two days. If you've got a 20 pound turkey, it should already be in the brine. Okay. Right. Because it's, it's so you want to start today if you've got. Okay. Got it. Right. Okay. And if you don't want to make your own, look at that. We that sell turkey that's got apples and cranberries, rosemary, thyme, garlic, all that already in there. And the same thing, heat water up, add it to it, cool it down. Now, my husband will get those Cajun injectors that you guys sell. Oh, the Cajun Is that, butter? That's good. Now, you would just do that and not brine, right? Well, or, the, the different things, different okay. applications, okay? If we're injecting it with, with like a Cajun butter, we're trying to add veins of flavor in it. That way, when we cook it, it, it goes out throughout the meat. So you can do both to it. Now, if you're trying that to... And brine. Yes, if you're injecting it with a brine, then don't brine it. Okay. But it's, it's best just to take the time and let it brine whole. Um, so one works just as well as the other then, you think? In, okay. Yeah, an injected You're out of time and want to inject it. Yeah. It's maybe a little so easier. So it's, it's you can see it's already starting to come to a boil here, and it, it's going to get very fragrant. Now, this is a key to a moist turkey, okay? So because you, you, you have a, good, a lot of good liquid in there, it's going to not let it dry out as quickly. So Now, how do you prevent it from drying? Well, first, there's a, there's a couple of different ways. Uh, you could do a low and slow cook to where it gradually comes up the temperature so it doesn't have a concentrated heat. Um, you can do it till the breast is just about done and then put aluminum foil over it to shield it. And that and done by meaning you're using the thermometer. Always what it be again? a thermometer. Uh, 165. 165. Okay. 160. Oh, in the and thickest part the of the breast. thigh. Oh, in the thigh. Okay. Um, or in the thickest part of the wing. So you're coming, you're finding that thickest part, thickest part of the bird because that's where it's going to happen at. Is, is right there, right? So, you, yep. Okay, good. And then, or some, one of the techniques is you actually turn it upside down and cook it breast side down until about the last half hour. Then, and then you turn rotate it, that it back will up it from drying. because the, there's not direct heat on the breast. Oh, I love that. Great suggestions, Chef Tony. Thank yeah. you so much.